Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Ethereum Input Data Decoder. Uh, so to show you how it works, uh, we need an example contract. And um, we know that uh, we can go to Etherscan and from there we can get a contact address that is verified so we can explore the source code. We can go to red contract and write contract and open one of those functions. For example, I'm going to search for the role. We know that there are fields that we know what we have to input, uh, such as balance of where you have the address and the ID. And that's an easy one, so you don't need uh, decoders. For example, others you just fit this one, copy to clipboard, and you have it right there. But what if it requires a byte 32? As it's not a human readable value, we are going to use, in this case, a decoder. One use case could be we go to write contract and then we want to call grant role but somehow we don't know the role by 32 how we can get it imagine that we already called this function before so we can go to get the transaction and from there extract the role from the transaction data Actually, I have already made the transaction. That is this one, the last multicall. So we open the transaction, then we click to see more. There we have the input data. Uh, we need to change the view to original. Yeah, it's quite not user human readable, but soon you are going to see how the decoder is going to be used on this. We copy the data, then we go to the demo provided by Ethereum Input Data Decoder. We open it and in Input Data, we paste the code. For the ABI, we come back to the contract, then we switch back to code, and here we have our contract ABI. So let's copy it. Go back to Ethereum input data coder, remove R and paste it. Now click on the code. And here we go. We have the multicar with a data input that is another byte 32 that we have to decode. So copy it again and paste it in input data and then click on the code nice so this time you see that uh, we have everything human readable so this is exactly the function that we, we were searching for uh, i'm going to scroll down scroll back to write contract you can see the grant role has two input a role of type page 32 an account of type address and this is exactly the input that we were searching we are calling grant role with two input the role and account of type byte 32 and address respectively and the inputs are the address and the role that we were searching so here you can copy the role and go back to grant role and you paste the role and you add another user that you want to grant the role. So you just paste another user and you write to the contract because you are the owner. So I hope you learned something new about what is input data decoder and we have seen a use case. That is all for this video. See you in the next one.